Risk estimations from looking at stuff at Steam Spy, right? Okay, we got a couple questions from Swaggy Show. I'll do the first or the last one, the second one first. Do you have that resource for the meeting note template you were talking about that you could share for Notion? Yeah, I can actually, I mean, it's not shareable right now, but if you, yeah, I can put that somewhere. Come on into the Discord, discord.gg slash indie game business. That's a good point. Yeah. yeah. I will. I'll put that together. Um, wait. Ah ha 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 ha. Hold on. You got excited Patrick. over no. <laughs> Patrick's <laughs> listening in. Patrick. Patrick, can you pull that our meeting notes thing and just put it in a Google Doc and message me about it so I don't forget? Um, thank you very much. And swaggy, Patrick. come on into the Discord and discordgg slash game business. There's a bunch of other resources in there too, as well. So here's the other question. Is it a good idea to note if you have other publishers interested, if it helps another publisher with their own numbers and what you might be asking for? For instance, if you want more than one offer, could you mention what is on the table to a different publisher? <laughs> you can. That, th this is the part where we start playing mind games with, with the negotiation. Oh, wait, pull that back up, Dan. Okay. Um, so one, it's safe to assume that from the publisher standpoint, that publisher should be safely assuming that, you know, there are more publishers interested in, in talking to you because chances are they saw the game on Twitter or, you know, next fest or something in a very public light, unless you're just having super early stage conversations with, with the publisher, the assumption is yes, they're going to, you know, they, they should expect there to be other people involved. Do you want to start throwing out numbers? This is when this, this is when the negotiation game starts playing. You can, but you just have to realize that you need to be very careful about how you do it. Uh, you don't want to make something up because if you blow up a deal, you don't, and you absolutely don't want to say, oh, okay, I'm talking to Annapurna, and but raw fury offered me this much money don't do that they know each other yeah exactly oh my god yes we all know <laughs> um, They're, everybody's all friends <laughs> all the publishers are all friends and they talk and hang out at the things and like yeah don't and, and plus the publishers are looking at a hundred other games and they're like okay go with them then you know what i mean <laughs> and that's very liable to happen you know they look at it and they're like okay well you got other people interested and i don't want to get in a bidding war on this game so you mm -hmm. know i'll just go to this next one on my list um you can absolutely use the fact that you have other publishers interested in there what the way i tend to phrase it is if a publisher comes to us and says we're gonna we're offering you 50 percent of rev share and five hundred thousand dollars you don't necessarily want to go back and say well this other company has offered me this because then you start getting into bidding wars can be good but they have to be handled properly it's better to say something along the lines of that's i appreciate that offer but these terms are more in the line of what we're expecting and we're looking for Mm. And when you define th these terms, that should be based on some of the other, you know, things that you've had come in. Uh, but no, don't and don't sit back on your heels and get all cocky because you have one company interested and one company not. No deal is done until the contract is actually signed. You could absolutely be discussing deal terms with a publisher and one thing leads to another. And then all of a sudden they're like, eh, well, no we're not interested, but you've already like ostracized another three or four because you're like, well, we have an offer on the table. So yeah, long answer, short answer is yes. It's absolutely fine to, you know, let them know that other people are interested, but don't name names and be very careful how you handle those situations. Basically what it's like is imagine that you're Luke Skywalker on the Millennium Falcon and you just shot one ship and you, Hey, I killed them. And Jay is Han Solo. And he looks back and he says, don't get cocky kid. Exactly. <laughs> what will happen? Is, and I see this like absolutely all the time. Publishers are going to come in and they're going to 
legitimately or you know not legitimately be very excited about your game you simply can't read that as excitement as you know purebred interest and you're going to get a deal this is why we always say you know it doesn't matter people are always like how's the conference going it's like it doesn't matter everybody at every conference is always interested in every game that's just the reality it's what happens two weeks after that conference that actually matters so just be careful. Don't get cocky, kid. All right.